Hello, my name is Hofstad, and I'll be showing you how to do invasions in Gary Grigsby's War in the West. For this scenario, for this tutorial, I'll be using the scenario Operation Dragoon, which covers the invasion into southern France by U.S. by the U.S. Seventh Army and French forces from Italy and into southern France. Now, let's load up this scenario, and we'll get started. We'll just ignore this for now. Just set them all to none. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, as I said, this does cover the invasion of troops into Northern Italy. Let's just take a look at what actually happened in this scenario. Historically, the Allied forces broke through into, a bench, into beachheads between Nice and Toulon, around this area. French forces then moved up and secured Marseille and Toulon. Well, I think the American forces s secured this area. They then pushed up and moved up to Lyon, and I think they were stopped around up here to help in the Ardennes offensive, if I remember correctly. I doubt that last bit is right. Now let's take a look at our objectives. Most These two objectives here are the primary ones, because the Allies thought that these, well they were correct, they said that these two ports would be... Um, extremely important in securing securing supplies for um, for their forces moving up north. The problem with this scenario is that it is nearly impossible to get up to these two here because although there aren't a lot of forces it's there's gonna be a lot of them blocking your way and you need all the turns in order to be able to get up here you only have six turns to actually do it. Okay let's get started. To begin a naval invasion, you have to use these TF Amphibious HQs. Now, in order to use these, a unit has to be stacked into it the, and accumulate preparation points. Once you've accumulated 50 preparation points, it can be launched into the hex. To choose your hex, you... Oh, fuck, hang on. Let's screw it. Let's just end it because it doesn't, it's not that important. I don't freaking care. It doesn't matter too much at this point because I'll go to the end turn and show you what actually happened at the at my in the my campaign. Okay. As you can see, it has 70 preparation points. This is its targeting hex, and that's its invade button. To change the hex, you simply click on here. This red line will show you the hex. These three blue ones here are the invasion points of three amphibious units. Here, here, and here. Now, with it, my cards to uh, preparing accumulation points, it's um, highly dependent on the level of the ports it's in, so this would do, do the highest amount of accum accumulation because it has the largest port at Naples, but this is also dependent on the size of the units. For instance, in Battleground Italy, um, you want to start preparing your invasion force for the boot as soon as possible, but a lot of uh, scenarios don't include, the AIRs don't include how big the force is. For instance, when I was doing it, I was reading the AARs to get, AARs to get a hint of what I was supposed to be doing, but I attached a whole unit onto it. I sh at that point, I should have broken it down using this button here because the smaller the unit, the faster the preparation points accumulate. Because if you just do a large unit, it's going to take forever and chances are your enemy will start fortifying that area. I might show that later. Alright. Now, let's have a look at what we have here. Obviously, these enemies are pretty weak. Now, well, I, sh I should have done the fucking attack here because um it can actually target retarget that oh a thing to notice if you change your target the accumulation points you'll have will be halved and you'll have to redo that again but in some scenarios usually at the start you can change it without any penalty whatsoever so since this is the strongest force I'll move them up there now keep these two here now let's talk about paradropping. 
It's the same principle with accumulation points, but these guys have to be stacked into a hex with air transport units. You can see them by clicking the air... No, 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 not that, not that. Um, that one. No, not that one. What the f it's one of these. I know it is. What the hell is it? Oh, do that one. All right. Technical airfoil. That one. Yes. As you can, the they were stacked in this unit, and here we can see the the transport groups of USSAF. And these ones will be stacked into there. Now it's important to note that when you do an evasion, power drop, it has to be done at the start of a turn. That means you. Basically, if you use your air transport for anything other than that at the start of a turn, then that thing, then that air transport unit cannot be used at all. Its miles are used up for transport. So you want to do this first, and then air drop them in. Now, when it comes to air dropping, you can't put them in mounts in the sexes. You can basically put them anywhere else, though. And there are two rules for this. It has to be within eight hexes of a supplied unit. So, anywhere in this area. So, let's launch off our naval things, and since I didn't attack, God knows how it will go. But, you press invade, and launch. There you go. Now, these guys are all set up to begin. When you end the turn, they'll start attacking, and if it's successful, they'll form a beachhead. These two will be the most successful, but I don't know how about this, because I was stupid enough to not use an attack thing. Now, let's reselect these. Nope, keep in note, it has to be within eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put them up here. I think that will. I think that will work. Because a good idea is to cut off supply to Marseille as soon as possible. It's a very hard city to take. I only, I can only manage to get it on the very last turn, and that was a full with a full stack of forces. Let's end it. At the end of this turn, I'll show you what happened at the end by bringing it, loading up an old save. Oh, I don't think I saved it, but I don't know, maybe the turn will work. Oh, oh, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? No, you didn't. Oh, well. In, it's worked other times, but, yeah. Basically, you have to do an extremely powerful attack for that. I've so Alright. Now that those ports will be now that these beachheads were created, a couple of things will happen. The first off is that a level 2 port will form in that area. Oh god. This tutorial is a bit shit, but it's not that difficult to get a grasp on how it works. It's very, very simple. I mean, it's nothing like logistics. Alright, a mistake I did, and that you should always do, is to stack up as much forces as you can behind the fo behind your invasion hexes. Because I just lost a whole bunch of strategic movement points, so these guys will not be able to move into this hex on this turn. A couple of things will happen. First off, is now a port is created, so that will allow forces to move in. I can show you. Can't. But either way, there's a couple of ports there, and there's also air bases. This will allow you to transfer air units over to these air bases. That way you can launch things at a much shorter range. Let's quit this for now, and I'll show you how it... Alright, Operation Dragoon 2. No, it's not that one. It's this one.
There you go. See, that's actually much better. I did take it. This is the start of round two, because I did have a... If I remember correctly, where is my... There you go. It has a ground attack up there, so it affected that. Now. Let's... Where is my air transfer? Can't I see the air bases? Why can't I see the freaking air bases? That is irritating. They should be there. Either way, they're... Su they're well, there you go. You can see there's a port there. Now, in this scenario, it's incredibly important to bash as many of these motherfuckers out of the way as soon as possible. Oh, frick's sake. There you go. Piss off. The good thing about op already launching that DDD um, invasion onto this hex here is that since it is a victory point thing, uh, we already gain those points, and that v helps a lot in this scenario. Because if you do invasions the normal way, if you don't change it, chances are you'll have to skip across this river hex and lose a whole bunch of movement points, and that's just not something you want to do. Now, I'll show you how the scenario ended for me. Exit. Is that there? Let's have a look. Uh, Allied major victory, yep. Let's have a look. As you can see, I never made up here, I just had a couple of units. All I could do was just shove these units up here into... <clears throat> uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Avignon. And this took... Taking this was horrible. It took nearly everything I had to take this hex. It was really painful, but either way, I did manage to secure a major victory. Yep. Alright, hopefully you learned something from this. It was a bit haphazard, but it's an incredibly simple concept in this game. It's, if not the simplest, next to basic attacks. But it's in the player's manual, and that one page will literally tell you just about everything you need to know. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave one and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 